this is sort of a, a quickie because I've had a load of these and uh, I ain't going to be welding in this state. What I thought I'd update you on progress, so I've just had a quick blast with it. I've been away for a few days, so just today I had a chance to have a go. I'll unclip you from here and show you what's going on. Okay, so I've modified this bit. Can you see it? I think so. If I pull the light down. So this now comes a little bit further over. I've cleaned all the crap off here so that I've got something to weld to. I've drilled some holes in the top and if I move the light over, hopefully you can see, I can't tell from this angle, that all those holes, apart from the fillet at the top, that doesn't match yet, all those holes are in contact so they can be spot welded. When they are spot welded and the back's done, I'll then knock that down, which closes up the jaw, and weld all the way round that. Then next bit, the way I've rigged it, I have to get this bar central and true. So what I've done is done a bit of grinding and stuff. And I've used these two fittings. Hang on, I'll move the light. the spotlight. Oh, come on you, point that way. So, these two are just weird furniture bolts and they're not quite right at this moment in time but hey, it doesn't matter. The idea being, when I've got a level across there, hopefully you can see that the centre pipe matches the two outriggers, which is right. And you can work out the angle now. They're not perfect at this moment in time, but they will be before I tack it into place. So that will give me perfect spacing between the two outriggers and hopefully keep everything true. And then on top of that, there are these. What I've done, I've put a flat on this side, a flat on the top, so I could get me level the flat on the top. What concerned me was and these are a bit difficult they'll have to be clamped before I do weld it uh, I'm quite happy to put big heavy welds into this because it's so thick but the original tubing is pretty thin walled so I need a flat against it otherwise I'm gonna burn through and that's why there is a flat there you can see it but it'll have to be positioned exactly right. It gives me loads of contact on this, but I need more contact on that so that I can run a fillet there, there, and underneath. Oh, and I've not cleaned it out enough underneath. There's still paint on that. Bit more work to do. So that's how that bit's gonna go. But like I say, I'm not doing it today because I'm bad at skinful, basically. Then, next bit, I've worked it out. That's the way the clamps go. Uh, I've measured the distance on the dummy engine I've got from here to here. 205 millimetres, so that's the right way down. That's the right distance, 100 millimetres between them. And that's a match for the 500 engine. The bottom edge of this bit of blue tape is the lowest possible point that the 500 engine's exhaust can come out. So the plan, the revised plan, this is a piece of this pipe that I've used and it's massively strong, look how thick that is. So the idea is to cut one out and plant it there so that it sits around all of this and around the tube, all of it, so it's welded all the way around. Once that's in, what I'll do is I'll take a, an angle at 45 degrees here and then plate it, same as is going to happen here when I cut this. When that's cut, obviously there's an open tube, I'll put a, a shaped piece of metal across it and onto this to seal it all up. Do the same thing there, so basically something that thick 
about there, just enough to clear the bracket. If I have to shave a couple of mil off the bracket, I will do. Because that's only the front engine support, it's massively strong anyway. So once that's in there, what I'll then do is shape it to match here and to match the one at the bottom and that will be my downpipe and then over here across this angle and across this angle in heavy heavy plate because I've lost rigidity so this needs to be pretty heavy to help support this coming down because this stuff here and here is only pressed steel All right, you can see the thickness through that hole there it's fairly heavy duty but it's nothing like this stuff and then eventually we chop this out completely this off and I put I don't think I need to do it from here but I might do I might put a curved piece to come in under this maybe further back here so that you'll get where my fingernail is it'll come out here touch this and touch this just to give this some sideways rigidity because obviously I'm going from this box section to an, a narrower profile uh, and without the box section this bit is completely useless but I need this to be strong because it's the base part for the downpipe and I need to tie these this and this in with it anyway that's the plan for the moment um, just out of interest I had to take everything off so I can get it on the table. I did try it on my workbench, but it's too high to work on. Uh, I do have a welder. It's down there, my MIG. I haven't used it for 10 years. And when I did use it, it was to do some modifications to swivel seats and steering columns and the rear end of a motorhome that I built. So I am by no means a welder. And obviously this has to be right, so I'll be experimenting with offcuts of tubing from this to make sure I've got penetration and that it's that settings are correct. Because the last thing I want it to do is crack while I'm going down the motorway on it. So anyway, that's it for now. Next bit I'm going to play with is maybe making some pipe for this section because in this state I'm not welding. Um, yeah, I like my beer far too much. <laughs> anyway, just a quick one. Hope you like it. Right, safe. Talk about mean, there's not a lot of disc left. That's another disc for the collection because uh, it's not enough to get deep enough. Let's have a look. Not stone, 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 ah, metal. Stone. discs and oh this will do me one use this one I'll turn this off because it could go on for hours okay a little bit 
more done. Uh, God, it takes ages this. I'll show you. So, here's my central down pipe. And I've been working on getting this and all this to fit. Obviously this bit which sags out here I need to put a cut in it and it can be knocked in. There I missed a bit but it's all uneven. The welding from this frame from original it's a bit wobbly to say the least. It's not obviously not machine done so you have to piece it as best as you can but I think that with a few extra maybe fillets is going to be strong enough so that's just this bit I thought you might like to see it before that things like once I've tacked it in I'll knock this in I'll put a groove there so it folds in and when it's all smoothed off and ground the actual tube it's not quite perfect but it's running pretty much down the same line so it'll hit the other one the only thing I'm worried about is uh, if I drop that it's like a dummy this thing carry it around even when I'm not smoking dreadful there's the line you might just be able to see it I cannot go above that I may have to grind this down a bit and I may have to take the top edge of this off just a bit so I can run one of these pipes here and the thing I'm worrying about is that gets knocked up fine this one's going to have to be low enough to sit in the cutout oh sorry that way a cutout in that one to make it structurally sound before I even start to weld it so I'm thinking I'm going to have to cut these top tags off take these off cut these top tags off so I can drop it put this in and raise it into position but that shouldn't be too much of a problem and let's face it it's going to look pretty wacky nobody else has got a frame like this <laughs> but then again okay i think i'll call it a night for that because i'm covered in muck and this shed stinks of metal filings and i'm very very drunk so peace out babies light safe bit for tonight because I'm staggering <laughs> I've had so many cans but I'll show you where I'm up to and what I'm thinking okay the latest bit I've cleaned all this off and shortened these on this side what I did I scribed a mark across here which was the limit of the bracket and then cut this off and shaped it to be 5 mil above which is the minimum clearance so on for that hopefully that means when I do a piece of tube that wraps around here and wraps around here I can drop it in that way because obviously it gets larger uh, and drop it over this that means I can put the top tube in hammer it up tuck it in there make it central and then knock this one up and because those are pretty parallel when you look at it that way they are actually parallel I should be able to lift this up into the cut that I make in the down tube making this up as I go along but that's half the fun so I think that's it for tonight, um, ride safe and I'll see you again, bye.